Yung Yong Hua or known as Yong Hua was born on June 22, 1989 Yoksam Dong, Gangnam Gu, Seoul, South Korea. Yong Hua's family consists of his parents and a brother four years older than him. Then in 1991, Yong Hua moved to Busan and lived there until he attended his high school education and also always ranked in the top 10 at his school. Not only good at music and smart, he is also known on the internet as Il Jang. Which means Il Jang is because of the physical appearance that Yong Hua has, namely handsome. The FNC entertainment agent accidentally saw Yong Hua's photo uploaded on the internet. They then offered Yong Hua a contract when Yong Hua was having an exam at his school. But at that time Yong Hua refused the offer on the grounds that he did not want to become an artist and celebrity. However, the FNC agency did not give up, the casting agents went straight to Yong Hua Bussin's village to convince him. The casting agent then told Yong Hua's parents about the company's request to audition Yong Hua to become an artist. Parents doubted that Yong Hua would pass the audition because the agency had not heard Yong Hua sing before. And after Yong Hua followed his parents' orders to audition, Yong Hua passed the audition and decided to join the company to make Yong Hua the lead singer of the band. Yong Hua, who had already passed the audition, continued his education, where Yong Hua took the college entrance exam and moved to Seoul. He also joined FNC Music and began training in bass technology at FNC Academy. By the time Yong Hua was 20 years old, namely in 2009, Yong Hua moved to Japan to study music and started performing with his band known as CN Blue. They made their first independent album, Now or Never, in 2009 and also did some street gigs to promote their music. In the CN Blue group, Yong Hua is the main vocalist, he is also good at playing the guitar, piano and clarinet. Finally Yong Hua made his debut in Korea with his band called CN Blue on January 14, 2010 with their album called Bluetary with the single I'm a Loner. With the song I'm a Loner Yong Hua and his band CN Blue won their first award. The song won first place on Music Bank after two weeks of release. <laughs> On May 25, 2010, representatives of FNC Music announced that Yong Hua had been diagnosed with acute laryngitis. Yong Hua was admitted to the hospital for treatment May 24 until 27, 2010 to cure his illness. Success with his band, Yong Hua took part in a variety show called We Got Married with SNSD's Seo Hyun. It was with the event that we got married. On January 14, 2011, Yong Hua also released his first digital solo single titled For First Time Lovers. The song topped the charts for two weeks in a row. On October 19, 2011, Yong Hua made his debut in Japan with the song In My Head under the Warner Music Japan label. The song In My Head was chosen as the ending theme for Japanese cartoon Supernatural. Yong Hua also composed and wrote Si Raren Blue's second single, Where You Are, which was released in Japan on February 1, 2012. The single reached number one on the Oricon Daily chart with 32,943 copies sold on its first day and on the weekly chart with 60,398 copies sold in the first week. This is what made C. Raren Blue the first top foreign band on the Oricon singles chart. Not only good at composing songs, Yong Hua also succeeded in producing the debut album of a young artist named Jun Yeo, with Single Fool. <laughs> Apart from being a music producer, Yong Hua also has other achievements, namely in the field of acting. He is the first member of CN Blue to appear on the screen and pursue acting. Young Hua's acting debut was first involved in the SBS series entitled You're Beautiful in 2009. In the drama, Young Hua's acting collided with Jang Gun Suk, Park Shin Hai, and FT Island's Lee Honki. With his acting talent, through the series You're Beautiful, 
Yong Hwa won the Popularity Award category at the 2010 Korean Drama Awards. In 2011, Yong Hwa returned to acting again with Park Shin Hai in the drama Heartstrings. With the drama Heartstrings, Yong Hwa won the Hallyu Star Award category at the 2012 K Drama Star Awards. Yong Hwa again received an offer to play his third drama entitled The Heirs. Unfortunately, Yong Hwa refused to play The Heirs with Park Shin Hai. The reason is because Yong Hwa wants to avoid stereotypes that always play roles with Park Shin Yi. Even though Yong Hwa turned down The Heirs, he was still offered a romantic drama titled Marry Him If You Dare. With this drama, Yong Hwa was nominated for the Best Couple Award with Han Chai category at the KBS Drama Awards. In 2014, Yong Hwa gave a spectacular performance in Three Musketeers which gained popularity in China. Not satisfied with his acting, Yong Hwa released his solo album entitled One Fine Day and reached the number one chart on the American Billboard World Albums chart. Not only America, the songs are in the number one position of the music charts of South Korea, Japan, and China. With this solo album, Yong Hwa won a number of awards including Best Solo Vocalist at the Golden Disc Awards. Not only that, in 2015, Yong Hwa was awarded the Most Popular Korean Artist Award and the Most Influential Korean Star Award at the Hong Kong Weibo Star Award Ceremony. She also won the Solo Artist Award at the Top China Music Awards and the ELLE China International Singer of the Year, with Yong Hwa being famous in China and Hong Kong. In 2017 Yong Hwa made his debut in a Hong Kong film entitled Cook Up a Storm, with his role as Chef on Paul. And in the same year Yong Hwa also played a drama called The Package. With Yong Hwa's popularity as a singer, songwriter, MC, and actor, he got a scandal that shocked the public quite a bit. In 2016, cases of insider trading were violations in the capital market involving a large Korean entertainment agency, namely the FNC Entertainment Agency, were in the spotlight. The reason is, the case dragged the name of the famous band CN Blue. With this trading case, various media highlighted vocalist Yung Yong Hwa as the main actor in this case. Yong Hwa was said to have carried out insider trading to benefit from FNC shares which had skyrocketed since signing a contract with Korea's best MC, Yu J Suk. Yong Hwa is suspected of having bought 400 million won of shares a few days before Yu Jae Suk signed a contract with FNC. From there FNC stock skyrocketed. And Yong Hwa sold it for 600 million won. With that in mind, Yong Hwa was summoned by the Seoul Prosecutor's Office for questioning. After being examined at the Seoul Prosecutor's Office, Yong Hwa CN Blue was finally found innocent and free of all charges in the case of alleged stock manipulation, insider trading, that profiteered his name. Yong Hwa was declared innocent because the shares were purchased on behalf of his mother who claimed not to know about Yu Jae Suk's entry into the FNC Entertainment Agency. Apart from that, Yong Hwa's mother also claimed that she bought and sold the shares without Yong Hwa's knowledge. From there Yong Hwa free from accusations. Not only that, Yong Hwa was also involved in a scandal again in 2018. In which case, Yong Hwa received special treatment at Kyung Hee University. Yong Hwa was investigated by the police because he passed the postgraduate program at Kyung Hee University even though he did not take the interview exam at the university. Reporting from koreaboo.com, Yung Yong Hwa did register for postgraduate education at Kyung Hee University. Yong Hwa was reported he did not pass because he did not attend the interview. Then he re-registered and was allowed as long as he took part in the main interview as well as several additional interviews. Unfortunately, Yong Hwa was again absent. From Yong Hwa's absence, Yong Hwa actually passed and became a graduate student at Kyung Hee University. It was with this scandal that Yong Hwa was also said to have avoided the military service program so he decided to continue his postgraduate education at Kyung Hee University. This was revealed by a former FNC Entertainment employee to local media. 
According to the former FNC employee, Yang Hua's goal of continuing his education was because Yong Hua wanted to postpone his military service. However, Yang Hua's agency, namely FNC Entertainment, immediately denied the statement of their former employee and said that the accusation was not true. With all the accusations against Yong Hua, he was declared innocent and free in the case and it was the Kyung Hee University professor who was proven guilty. Yong Hua also continued to carry out his military service on March 5, 2018 and finished his military service in November 2019. After completing his military service, Yang Hua's career did not fade. He played in a drama in 2021 entitled Cell Haunted House. And in 2023, Yong Hua is displaying his acting talent as an actor again. He is playing a drama with the title Brain Works and has won good ratings in its premiere. In the drama Brain Works, Yong Hua plays a smart and well-known brain neurologist with a self-confidence index of 99%. There Yong Hua will fight a killer and reveal a crime case. Those are some facts about. Those are some of Yong Hua CN Blue's career journey and don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. Thank you.